Tim and I here for a little St. Patrick's Day fun. Hello, folks. I've got my see-through green shirt on. You can even see through my bottle. Can you see through your bottle? Yes, I can see oh. through my bottle also. Isn't, Isn't that amazing? amazing? Yeah, it's pretty cool. You think about it. We are drinking a qualified beer here from, uh, where is it? Uh, Persian Oak Roll. One of our beers, um, one of the beers here uh, represented by our fine quality of beers from Europe. I've and got my also, lucky shirt off. Well, that's, that's really exciting. Well, yeah, I drink beer and you can't see it going down. What if you could see it going down? That'd be kind of weird. That'd be really cool. Be a little gross, actually. Yeah, well, you can watch all the processes. All right, so it's St. Patrick's Day, and we have this beer, Pilsner Urquell, Dave Pegg's favorite beer. Dun dun dun. Pilsner Urquell. Not a sponsor of the show in any way. No, definitely. They've not. actually never even heard of us. No, but maybe they'll mail us a. Well, maybe future. yeah. After this review, this positive. <clears throat> Review. Maybe they'll send us a because uh, it has a good bouquet opener. Or you, know, it, it, you know, the, the beer's been around since 1842, so they they probably be doing something right. Apparently, yeah. It's Pilsner uh, Urquell, brewed in Pilsen, Czech. Yeah, uh, used to be called Czechoslovakia. Yeah, right. Exactly. Now, the, the nice thing about this beer, though, is they've kept the same quality where a lot of the beers have changed. It's the original. In 1842, Pilsner. the yeah. Citizens Brewery of Pilsen brewed the world's first golden Pilsner and never stopped. We make it in the same way, in the same place, with 100% of our ingredients from the same farming regions in Czech, as always. Yeah, you would think that after a while, doing it the same way would get kind so of this is a pretty good beer. I like it. I, you know, I could drink many of these. Yeah, what does it remind you of? Does it remind you of a uh, another Spaten. beer? Spaten tastes uh, the same. Spaten from Germany tastes well, exactly. Does it, does it remind you like of an American beer? Hmm. Maybe Budweiser, <laughs> but uh, you take the rice out of the Budweiser. Yeah, it has the, Bud has more of a some of maybe it's the hops, but it has more of a well. I think it's more carbonated than this is. Too. Yeah, and a lot of stuff much cheaper. Well, it is that. It is that. <laughs> a it lot cheaper. It certainly is that. It doesn't cost as much as this, and this actually cost about ten bucks or six. You can probably get twice that many of Budweiser cans. Yeah, I mean, as far as oh, I know, probably get a 12 pack. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. I, I, I prefer the imports. They have a certain it's mystique no, about them. It's no Dinkelack or Dark, though. <laughs> oh, no, you know, may I say uh, not. Good it's actual right. color. Yeah, it's pretty uh, good. The bottles are a good color. It's uh, It kind of reminds me a little bit of like a Molson, the light. It's like a light golden beer. So Molson is a little... It's got a little more bite. It's got more bite. It's got different hops. Yeah. This has got those... Um, those those hops. Those hops. Yeah. <laughs> Have you heard about that? Check hops. Oh, check hops. <laughs> Not check off. That's check off. Check that's off. Something different. Yeah. That's that's known as that's a futuristic beer. Maybe that's what you call our segment beer trek. Yeah. The, the beer headless drink. beer drinker. Do you think the audience will like the headless meet the headless me? The headless man. What is this? The Legend of Sleepy Hollow? I'm trying to see if I can <laughs> see this. It looks like there's nothing there, but there actually is. <laughs> Just in case. And this, by the way, is good until February 7th, 17. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, that's like, we got to get rid of this stuff. This is over. Oh. Tim, this, this beer is, is out of date. <laughs> this beer is, has been beer. We should call over, uh, you know, we can do that. We can make an internet call to Czechoslovakia. Yeah, we could do that with beer. We send them an email and ask them some pertinent questions about pertinent questions. whether they were shut down during the wars or something. That'd be pretty cool. And find out some cool information about beer. In, in a very transparent effort to see if they'll send us some kind of uh, <laughs> trinket. You just want an opener. Exactly. I want an opener. Yeah. <laughs> ask them blatantly. Uh, Tim, we want so, an opener. You are so transparent. The screwdriver's not working anymore. It's a clever ruse, so but I saw over right the through age it. of 21 only. So that means if you're... How the hell did you get it? <laughs> <laughs> I bought it. They looked at me and said, oh, okay, no problem. They saw money coming in and they're like, yeah, oh. yep, not a problem, man, whatever. They should have said, this guy doesn't look stable. We shouldn't be giving them <laughs> any kind of alcohol. So let's say happy uh, St. Patrick's Day, everybody. To all those uh, friends in and autos. Run right out and... Uh, I don't know what to say now. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess this is the end of this. Yeah, well, you know. But, uh, so every... Uh-oh. Could be serious. 
I've swilled upon myself. Oh, you're... <laughs> hey, ma'am, check you it out. You take me anywhere. In accordance to the Surgeon General. Why? Nobody else right, knows so this information? I, I think what do you pretty have? much covered this, um, this Pilsner. Um, we have another bottle, by the way. We have, one, we have one more each left. Well, yeah, but that's not part of this video. It's not? No, I'm going to edit that out. Oh, I, I, I get rid of it. If I leave it in, it'll be like an inside thing. We're an inside edition? How we do things. Inside edition strikes the information tonight. Pilsner Nurko. Is it's, it a beer or is it not? Next week, inside the camel's ass. <laughs> No one knows why. <laughs> no, no one knows why. <laughs> and no one's been in there to check it out. No, well, that's the thing. <laughs> it's a, it's a, the it's only a theory because nobody wants to. Nobody well, wants to investigate the possibilities of what All that right. is. So that's thanks for watching Mike and Tim's um, beer trek, beer trek story, um, or beer hunter. I don't know what we'll call it. Maybe we won't call it beer trek. We'll, we'll just call, call it beer. It. We'll call it something to do with beer. Yeah, that's something it. to do with beer. Something to do with beer. Maybe that's what we'll call it. All right, so we're, we really melt this one dry. Thanks for watching, and more ridiculous nonsense is more than likely on the way.